Welcome to the CESS meeting. We have a light agenda today. The, uh, the topics, uh, we're, we're deferring the topic of records and tuples to next week on account of not having a full quorum. Um, and uh, other than that, we have a, a conversation, Alex has asked for a conversation regarding his proposal for um, promise properties. And um, yeah, that's, that's all we've got. So go, go, uh, go ahead, Alex. Okay, um, I want to emphasize that um, what I'm talking about here is just administrative, since we just talked about this two weeks ago. Um, first of all, um, two weeks ago, I called it all properties. In rewatching the video two weeks ago, I realized that own properties is a better description for what I had in mind. So that's uh, just FYI. Um, I have the uh, actual proposal itself. Um, on the screen here. Um, it is stage zero, basically stage minus one, really. This is just a very first draft. And I was really looking, okay, who wants to uh, come on board with this in terms of co-authoring slash championing slash contributing to this uh, proposal? And um, what the heck do we call this darn thing in terms of uh, naming the repository. And that's all I have really is I just want to hear what people think. I saw that there was a possibility that Jordan had volunteered to co-champion. Yes, he had volunteered to co-champion. Um, and I added him as a contributor. And I just hadn't made the change because I wanted to see if there was anyone else who wanted to get in on it. I do not, but I do want to say that I both um, appreciate and second your uh, renaming for uh, correctness. Um, own properties, that is, from all. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, um, I'm hearing crickets. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, well, uh, let's uh, give folks some time to mull on it. Um, and uh, we're, we're eager, eager to see this. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so given Given that we have nothing else on the agenda, Alex, is there anything you'd like to, to mention on this proposal? Um, well, people can see the quick summary of uh, issues that uh, myself and uh, Jordan Harbrand, Harband have already filed. Um, we're really, I'm just trying to get people to offer opinions. I know that it's been less than 24 hours since I posted this to the group. Um, one thing is, uh, what do we want to call it? Um, I was thinking very simply, await dictionary of promises is a really quick description of the problem that we're facing. Um, and it applies to the map case as well, I guess. I think that the only thing procedurally is that we, uh, I think that the prevailing convention is for the uh, repositories to begin with a name proposal dash or possibly a TC39 proposal dash. I, I don't recall which. Um, but yeah, I, I think that uh, there isn't much to say uh, until, uh, until you put it up to the group. Um, or present it to TC39. Uh, it's a it's a very small proposal, right? Right. Um, Dare I say modest? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. we do now. Oh, great! Did you hear me before? There, there was a thing you said before. The last thing we heard from you was uh, uh, that you that you liked the name change. Got it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, because then Alex said, all I hear is crickets after that. And I was like, wait, did, was it, <laughs> <laughs> this thing on? Um, I have not looked at the proposal. I'm, 
I I think I might be changing my mind now about um, co-author, co-champion stuff, only because uh, in 2020, um, I I actually this is pretty exciting. I used um, uh, Gus's, you know, Gus Kaplan's um, Engine 262, which he implements in a way, in a very interesting way that is actually like line by line for the spec and includes the spec step um, in a comment before the the next line of code, which is actually a funny thing that John Dalt, John David Dalton and I used to do on MDN for polyfuls like in the last decade. But he's actually, but Gus is actually more um, uh, strict about that. The interesting side effect is that you can use his implementation as um as a, a measurement of code coverage. And I used uh, his implementation to measure coverage of promise, the whole promise API, specifically the combinators in test 262 last year. Um, all of that is the longest possible way of me saying that I have like a really fresh context of, of promises and the combinators in general, like in in brain still pretty much good to go so i think i've changed my mind and um will uh s try as best as possible to participate in um like an authorship uh capacity at least to help keep things uh, i think consistent with the uh, the existing promise um apis with regard to the combinators and also i think it's super cool I think it's a cool proposal, and I want it. <laughs> so, wonderful. Send me uh, send me a, a chat message with your um, GitHub ID, and I'll add you. I right, just put that in here. Kind of put, drop that in in this this uh, 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 Zoom. Here we go. There you go. R Waldron, easy. Cool. Um, thank you. Rick. Going once, going twice, going thrice. All right. Well, um, yeah. Thank you for pushing this. Uh, I think we're we're excited to see progress. Um, with that, I think that I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>